Well, I think, uh, I think uh, listen, uh, the last event of the year, you know, and if we have to choose the fight of the year, then it's the last event of the year, the last fight of the year. I think it was the fight of the year, you know. So, yeah, it was an amazing fight, I think. And then the heavyweights. Uh, I think never, ne no one expected that uh, Jamal uh, could go over five rounds, you know. And uh, it looked uh, uh, very dangerous in the first rounds for Rico, of course. It was, it was tough. It was, it was five rounds uh, fire, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, excitement and uh, tension and uh, yeah. big vibration. I think, uh, yeah, the, no better way to close the season like uh, with such a fight in a heavyweight world title fight. And uh, I mean, uh, Rico showed also that he is a great fighter. I mean, he, he, he went down. Uh, I saw in his eyes that his confidence was a little bit away, but then he came back and uh, that was good. And then, of course, it's always nice when he predicted that he should uh, finish it in the fifth uh, round and he uh, got him with a, with a high kick and then it was uh, actually over, you know. So it's great, I think, great. I also liked the performance of uh, Jamal. He showed a great, uh, he was a great challenger. And I think actually he was uh, the only one, one challenger on this moment who could face uh, Rico in this way. Uh, the fight was going over. Uh, in the first rounds, it was uh, going to Jamal. Rico took it back, and that was what he said. You know, if it goes over five rounds, then it's an advantage for him. Great fight. Glory is very happy with such a fight. I hope the fans do, and I don't doubt about it. Well, uh, Rico is, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he was challenging Baller. It was announced that Baller will come back. We don't know exactly when this fight is going to be, but I mean, uh, first have to wait if Baller uh, accepts the challenge, but I think he, uh, he will do, but we will see what, uh, what Rico's next fight will be, what Jamal's next fight will be, you know. I think uh, we, we have two contender winners, maybe that's a good thing to face one of the contender winners. Tonight, uh, D'Angelo Marshall uh, won from the contender winner from uh, Collision uh, 2016, so maybe that's a good idea to face the contender winner first with a guy like uh, Jamal, and then uh, maybe we get some uh, a road to new challenges, you know. Uh, we, we, we can't announce uh, the opponent that we are discussing because we wanted to wait for this evening, uh, you know. It, 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 it was from influence what happened uh, tonight. If, if Jamal won the belt, then uh, there were more options, of course. Maybe Bader challenged uh, Jamal. So uh, now we're going to discuss uh, for an opponent. The, uh, it's announced that uh, Bader will come back. We know who is still the world champion now, so now we can decide on what is the best opponent. Uh, maybe it's not uh, immediately uh, Rico. Maybe we first uh, let Bader fight with another guy, and then after that uh, the collision again, uh, collision two.